Hi, my name is Dr. Tim Chartier. I'm an associate professor of mathematics at Davidson College. A lot of times when students are learning math, they can wonder why they're learning it, but they can also simply struggle with the way that they're learning. A lot of kids need kinesthetic learning. They need to be active in what they're doing, or they need more visual content, more than a graph of what they're doing. Performing is a way to do both of those. For example, you can simply take a ball, and you may not be able to juggle. Obviously, I have three, so we know where I'm going because we can count. Mm -hmm. But let's just take one. There are a variety of ways that you can talk about that. For instance, you can simply throw it up, and you can talk about different ways that just throwing one ball can be connected to math. For instance, if you throw it straight up, there's a different mathematical model that you can use versus throwing it over. Some models are more accurate than others. If I switch to mime, I can just take a paper bag and I can open it up. And using a magic trick that I won't teach in the video, what I can do is I can take this bag, now I can grab a mime ball, and I take the mime ball, and if I throw it up, I can model that it goes back in. But if I don't model it right, it just, something was weird. Like the ball got stuck, or the wind blew it up, and then it finally came down. And if you throw it just right, it really seems real. And you can do that with a bag, and you can then check it versus a real ball. Because this probably looks all, look, that should look more real, but they look similar to the pretend ball that I have. If you want to juggle, and you can even get animated jugglers on the web, you can even use number lines or you can work with fractions with juggling. A lot of that has to do with the pattern that's being juggled. This is a standard pattern that a lot of people do. Some people do it under, I do it over. And this is called a 3-3-3, or simply a 3 pattern that you have. If you do that, you can then switch to what's called a 5-1. Why are they called that? That's why you use the number line. And that is actually not, it uses math but it was invented by jugglers so that they could talk to each other. Like a musician writes down the notes. Jugglers literally use that type of three pattern. They'll tell each other, I'm going to do a 5-1. Oh, okay, I'm going to. And it's a whole notation that they use that they'll even look at each other. But the best part for students is they can figure out which number patterns are even possible to do, how many balls you need to do it, and all sorts of mathematical manipulations that they can do and then put into a computer and let a juggler juggle the pattern that they just came up with. Do we need to do juggling? Of course not. But there are all kinds of performing arts, from theater to magic to mime, which I work in, to juggling, that can help us teach kids math in new and, yes, believe it or not, entertaining ways. And that's what this seminar will be about.